Oh, awesome, Bell Awesome. Awesome, Blossom. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Date, and I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to another Pokemon Days. Uh, we got some more random battles in here. Got a Victini out against his Gallade, but he withdraws it immediately and goes into a Giratina, which is probably going to resist the fire move. There it is, the blue flare, and it does get a crit, but it does hardly anything against the Giratina, who might come out with a ghost move uh, against my Victini. So I'm going to pull him back and send out the Hippowdon, uh, anticipating whatever's next, knowing that he can uh, get the residual damage with the Sandstream and also possibly heal himself through any damage. Unfortunately, Giratina goes right for a Will-O-Wisp, which was a really good play. So now this Hippowdon is basically crippled. He's useless as shit. So I think I can use him to set up Stealth Rocks and hopefully that'll uh, gain me some ground. But he's got a Lantern in here. He's really working hard to uh, gain the offensive momentum. Whirlwind on the Lantern, not Stealth Rocks. Uh, and the Gallade is back in here, which is just fine. He'll take some damage from the Sandstorm, but I really got to get some uh, some ground going. This, this guy's uh, certainly got the upper hand at the moment. So he brings back back in the lantern i predict that and uh go for the earthquake which is really really nice but uh i'm not sure what to switch in here i don't really want to reveal anything else on my team so i do let uh hippo down <laughs> hippowdon i do let him down uh and he gets scalded to death by the lan lantern which is really really unfortunate so um victini is not going to be the switch to make i bring in the drapion now he's got a choice band he also has earthquake which i go for sack that lantern drapion is extremely fast i'm sorry drapion has a life orb <laughs> not a choice band uh but regardless the lantern goes down which is really nice the sandstorm subsides on that turn as well so i'm thankful for that rotom is in here i'm kind of fearing the will-o-wisp so i go for the taunt immediately and uh he does go for a trick so he's probably locked into Trick now, which is really, really good. The knockoff of his choice specs, that's not too bad. Um, he's going to go for Thunderbolt. Ooh, because he didn't actually use Trick. Okay. Or I didn't Encore. Yeah, I just taunted. So Thunderbolt versus Poison Jab. And uh, he does get Poison, but I'm going to go down to a Thunderbolt on that turn. So he's got a little, a little more to give up there. He's going to last for one more turn, it seems, uh, which is really, really unfortunate. It would have been nice if he had just gone down there. I know he's not choice scarfed, however, so I'm able to bring in the uh, Victini and just knock that thing away with a Grass Knot, which, yeah, even if he got off a, a Blizzard, it wouldn't have done much to Victini. Shadow Bell might, but I, I don't know if it carries it. <laughs> Anyways, Giratina's back in here. Kind of just go for the Blue Flare, hoping for a burn or something. Uh, he goes for the Dragon Pulse. I think this Victini has an Assault Vest, so uh, he's going to take that Dragon Pulse relatively well. Assault Vest giving 30% increase to special defense while you can only use attacking moves. So we're going to go back and forth here just a little bit. He reveals the Shadow Ball now, which is fucking terrifying. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking maybe this is the uh, wrong choice. I bring in the Mighty Yina, which hopefully will have Intimidate or something similar. It does not, but he's able to resist the Shadow Ball, uh, which is fine and dandy with me. I'm gonna go for a nice, strong crunch, um, but he gets that fucking Will-O-Wisp off. Mighty Yuna isn't quite fast enough. The crunch does decent damage, but uh, yeah, he's gonna be able to eat at least two more of them with Leftovers Recovery. So we are in quite some trouble here. Two of his pokes down, um, and a lot of mine have have cripples and ailments and uh, deads, you know, not so good. So he brings in Superior, which is kind of a foolish move in my opinion because he does see the Victini waiting in the wings, but he's going to go ahead and try and uh, boost up with a Leaf Storm, I'm sure, and I'll send in Victini to kind of scare him out of there so he can't uh, stack that double special attack boost from the contrary ability that Superior has. Really, really a crazy ability. Uh, Spin does another Pokemon who can make great use of it with superpower. Uh, Giratina comes back in. God damn, I hate this thing. There's a V Create. It does not do hardly anything. This Giratina has been walling my Dragon type moves uh, this entire game. And it's quite frustrating, but I am going to be able to switch out back into the Mighty Ina, I believe. 
And hopefully, yeah, he could just take this thing out and... Oh, Mighty Ina actually might get a crunch off. No, because he's slower. So yeah, we've just foddered our Mighty Ina, uh, which is relatively okay. I've still got some pokes waiting in the wings. He does bring out his Duo Blade now instead of going for the kill, I guess because uh, burn damage will take me down anyways. And I'm able to get the defense drop on it, which is uh, extremely important because that Pokemon has some crazy, crazy defense. And um, I'm hesitant to bring the Victini back in here, but why not? It's got to happen. Um, Victini's basically going to shut down that Duo Blade and that Superior, so I need to keep it alive. But also get rid of that damn Giratina, which uh, I'm slowly, slowly doing. But uh, with the speed drop, defense, special D, I'm not going to be able to stay in here and, and go for another one of those. So, very, very tense situation here. I do reveal one of my legendaries, and that is Raikou. And Raikou's going to take that Dragon Pulse relatively well. I do kind of fear the Superior coming back in here, but this Raikou has Calm Mind. So, uh, I'm going to boost up just a little tiny bit, and hopefully I can take his... Uh, yeah, Shadow Balls and shit just a little bit better. It does drop my special D there, so I did lose the boost, and I'm going to go out uh, on the offense now before he gets too much leftovers recovery. Extra Sensory, not quite enough. Really, really unfortunate, uh, but he also misses his Dragon Tail, so I'll take it. Not too much hacks uh, going on on either side, which uh, I'm pretty thankful for. Thunderbolt is able to take that thing down. But Raikou does have a Life Orb, which is chipping away at his health. Uh, I don't really like Life Orb as an item. Usually if I'm building a team, you won't see me use it. Uh, but it does have some extra punch to it. Uh, so he goes Mega Gallade. Able to punch a huge hole in that thing with a boosted Life Orb Thunderbolt. But he does sack Raikou with a close combat. Um, I'm not sure if he has the speed to beat my Victini. Uh, but Victini also has part Psychic, so we will send him back in there. Just uh, predicting more close combats. There it is. And basically Victini is going to be able to sweep up the rest of this team, provided he outspeeds it, which uh, the only pro pro problem I would predict would be uh, that Superior, which is extremely, extremely fast. And here it is now in my face, dealing with the Victini that I tried to keep all along. But it was for naught, so uh, goodbye to Victini. Very, very unfortunate. And what is my last Pokemon? <laughs> Simiseer. GG, bruh. <laughs> yeah, so there's a, a Fire Blast unboosted from Simiseer. Just absolutely smokes that, that Superior. And then the uh, Duo Blade is going to meet just the same fate because his defense is high, but his special defense is not. And luckily... It hits both times. So friends, join me in the next battle. I've been Brandon Dayton, and I'll see you there. All right, friends, our second battle is against Yellow Jello. I wasn't gonna try and pronounce that other guy's name, but he's out here with a Volcarona. I've got a Bell Awesome. He goes for the Quiver Dance right in my face, trying to uh, predict the switch probably, or just trying to get an early boost. Either way, I go for the Sleep Powder, and it hits nicely. I've also got a Dark Rye, so we're going to get some uh, bad dreams going on this Volcarona. It is potentially a risky move, considering it probably has Bug Buzz or something like that. But uh, we're going to probably eat this thing alive before it wakes up, if everything goes according to plan. So there he is, sleeping away. Very, very nice. We'll get some Dark Pulse, which is not doing as much damage as I had hoped, even with a Life Orb boost. So we're going to have to rethink things just a little tiny bit. <clears throat> Darkrai comes back. I'm going to go ahead and send out the Breloom now because he does have a Rock Tomb, I believe it is. Should have gave him Rock Slide or Stone Edge, but Rock Tomb is what we got, and it will be four times effective against that thing as well as negating the, uh, the speed boost. Unfortunately, he does wake up this turn because, you know, things like that can't last forever. He knocks my Breloom down to 5%, and uh, I knock him in the face with a Rock Tomb. Unfortunately, there's that damn life orb damage, which uh, makes my Breloom faint, but I'm glad that that Volcarona wasn't able to really get off the ground. We do have two sleepers in the form of Bella Awesome and Dark Rye, so I think that is going to be the uh, the crux of the team going forward, at least until I lose one of them, uh, but I'll try and swap back and forth between them. Dark Void on the Latios, not a problem. 
he goes to sleep and there's going to be some uh, bad dream damage coming his way. Also, part psychic, so um, you can get the, the dark pulse in there. That'll be extremely helpful uh, for making quick work of him. Unfortunately, he sees it coming, brings in the cure him, and uh, it's able to take the dark pulse relatively well. Um, all things considered, yeah. He didn't expect the Focus Blast, I think. Um, I probably could have taken a hit from Kiram, although Darkrai is very, very fragile. He's also extremely, extremely fast. So we're basically just shutting this entire team down because that Latios is asleep. Fur does get the U-turn off on Darkrai, which is uh, extremely hurtful. I did not expect that thing to be faster than me. Uh, and he brings in Vaporeon, which... Is a bastard. If it's a stall, Vaporeon, Wish, and Scald, and Toxic, or something nasty like that, I'm not going to be having a good time. So I bring in the Bell Awesome now because that seems to be the thing to do to deal with something like that. No? And it takes the Scald relatively well. He's scared uh, for the impending Giga Drain or whatnot, and he sends in the Furret, which is just fine. Um, Bell Awesome goes for the Giga Drain. Back up to full health, um, which will activate my Focus Sash if he does one hit KO me. He's not able to, for it really lacks the power to do so. So even with the Fire Punch, uh, Bell Awesome is going to win out in this battle, which is really, really good because I will need him for that Vaporeon as well. Unfortunately, I do get burned there. I think this Bell Awesome may have Natural Cure, so if I can switch out, find a chance to switch out, that would be uh, ideal. But it all depends on what his last Pokemon is, since I don't think he's going to bring in the uh, the Vaporeon. And it is a Gastrodon, so we are going to shut this fucking thing down <laughs> with Bell Awesome. Oh, awesome Bell Awesome. Awesome Blossom. And that Ice Beam, not enough after uh, a massive, massive Giga Drain. So we'll go ahead and keep Bell Awesome in here, I suppose. Everything seems to be going my way. <laughs> Really, he had Kyurem and Latios and Volcarona, and uh, he lost to Breloom, Bellossum, and Darkrai. Oh, it's such a good fight. Good fight, good night. He brings in the Latios now to try and let it wake up, I suppose. It might be just a little too late for that sort of thing. I go ahead and get the Synthesis on Bellossum, which recovers a nice amount, but uh, not as much as I would like, I think. There's the Latios, he wakes up, and now we're gonna see something scary, probably. Oh no, it's just hidden power. It will KO me if I take another one, uh, but I'm synthesizing up to try and make a way for a switch, which uh, will probably probably come very shortly. Yeah, now that I see he's revealed his uh, Psy Shock and things like that, I went for the Sleep Powder there and missed, uh, but I think... You could make a safe switch into Darkrai, predicting the Psy Shock, um, or you could fodder the Bell Awesome. I decided to save the Bell Awesome, predicting the Psy Shock, which might be kind of risky, and he does go for the Psy Shock, so it was the correct play there. Hooray! Go back to sleep, Latios. <laughs> Nap time's not over. Definitely some shenanigans with this Darkrai. It really is uh, a horrifying thing to be up against. Uh, which is why it's been banished to the uber tier. But he has a Mega Evolving Latios, so uh, fair's fair around here. He brings out the Latios, trying to avoid some of that dark, uh, bad dreams damage. And Vo Vaporeon takes some pretty good damage from the Dark Pulse. I think I might be able to 3-hit KO it, but he does have the Life Orb ticking away, so uh, I'm going to fodder the Bell Awesome here, just so I can get a uh, free switch into something a bit more fitting. We'll, we'll need to tap into our reserve of Pokemon. There's like the whole last half of the team to go. This kid got shut down really hard, which uh, I'm super proud about because there was a lot of nasty, nasty threats on his team. Uh, Ampharos comes out here. We go Mega Evolve. And then, uh, yeah, that's going to let us resist the Scald. He does not get the burn, which is extremely fortunate. And Thunderbolt is able to just mess that thing up. Shadoosh! Fantastic. I'm so glad Ampharos got uh, a Mega Evolution. It was such a bro Pokemon in like gold and silver. Oh god. Gen 2 bro. Oh, he comes out with the Draco Meter on the Latios and it uh, sacks my Ampharos. So good job to him. He got through half of my team there. 
And uh, Slow King is going to make his appearance now, which probably isn't that great of an idea. Uh, so I bring in the Curum. Hopefully he's not got another Draco Meteor in him, but even if he does, it's uh, extremely, extremely reduced power because he keeps on using it. So we'll be able to stand up to it, even with just uh, Slow King or Darkrai. Yeah, he's not going to stop. But but notice how weak it gets. Uh, this is definitely a move that you want to do like one and done. And there's the Dragon Claw. One and done. <laughs> so friends, this has been another lovely Pokemon day as I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe for this episode if you did enjoy. Because uh, I really love these random battles. They definitely give me a chance to talk about some, some makeups that maybe aren't applicable. Um, specifically, but in an overall strategy, which I think can be really, really helpful. So let me know what you think. Uh, and if you do like, comment, and or subscribe, I'll send you a pancake in the mail. It's delicious. I hope to see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.